I want to solve two problems uh, that are related to Arrhenius. Then again, if we look at Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, remember on the y-axis you have number of particles, and on the x-axis you have your kinetic energy. At a low temperature, you have particles that few particles that can react because they have activation energy and at higher temperature you would have more of them so the first question is looking at the variation in temperature uh, for a reaction that has activation energy of 40 what happens when you have 40 degrees celsius versus 20 degrees celsius how many times faster are you going to react so i'm going to go after uh, temperature lower temperature first and i call that k1 equals E minus EA over RT. So instead of EA, I put the values, which is 40,000 joules per mole, divided 8.314. Now don't forget they have to be converted to Kelvin. So this is 293 Kelvin. So I put 293. Then I do K2, uh, which is A E minus 40,000, the same activation energy divided by 8.314 times a higher temperature which is 313 Kelvin. We are only interested in in this segment because A's are constant also for this reaction. So let's just see what happens to this value and that's our proportionality. When we do this this is 7.3 times 10 to minus 8 at lower temperature and this one here is 2.1 times 10 to minus 7 at higher temperature. Now if you do K2 over K1, the number of times it's going to go faster comes to life, which is 2.1 times 10 to minus 7 divided by 7.3 times 10 to minus 8. And this is approximately 2.8, uh, 6 times faster. So we increase the temperature, uh, we went from, from 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. Now we have more particles that are reacting and they are exactly 2.8. The next question is saying, if we don't change the temperature, what happens if we introduce a catalyst? So we have still number of particles. We still have kinetic energy. And this time we have one reaction at given temperature. This is EA, a threshold without catalyst, which uh, without catalyst, this is equal to 50 kilojoules per mole. Then they say, what happens if you put a catalyst? Now you should remember catalyst speeds up the reaction by offering a lower activation energy pathway. And this time it's 35 kilojoules per mole. So we want to see what is this ratio of the bigger area compared to little area without catalyst. And I do the same sort of mentality, same math. So I put K1 equals A uh, E minus 50,000 kilojoules without catalyst divided by 8.314 gas constant times the temperature, temperature of 21 is 294 Kelvin, 294 versus uh, temperature, um, a catalyst, which is negative 35,000 kilojoules divided by 8.314 times same temperature, 294. Now, if we look at this proportion, uh, this side of A, that is the relationship of K2 to K1. So when we do this, this is 1.3 times 10 to minus 9. This is 6.04 times 10 to minus 7. Now K2 divided by K1 will give you the relationship or the ratio that it goes faster by or proportionality of number of particles involved. So this is about 465 times faster simply by introducing a catalyst for the same reaction.